I'm Italian originally, but I decided to move in London to continue my career in car design. It really takes inspiration everywhere. I have a lot of passion, especially in art, drawing, also technology. It really I capture all of those and try to really incorporate it when I design something. My main role is a lot of sketching and provide ideas, but also making possible. So the collaboration with the whole department, interior and exterior and color and trim is extremely important. I need to relate with people like a digital team or physical team that basically try to realize my idea from 2D, from the sketch, in a 3D, from the computer. And then after this process, also we move into through physical model that really we can touch, we can see from the screen to the reality. Nissan Ariel really is the pinnacle of EV and electrification for the future of Nissan, which is, for me, it was really important to be part of this project. So my favorite part of the interior, for example, is this beautiful surface that wraps around all the interior and really creates an amazing atmosphere. It's very, very futuristic and it's very dynamic. What we want to create is really uh, bring a new value from the customer. It creates something that probably we've never done before. When I will see the car in the future, it's going to be extremely exciting to share it to someone and say, I was working in that car. So that is going to be a very, very powerful emotion. So I'm the design manager for interiors at Nissan Design Europe in London. When I was young, I was always fascinated about cars, and especially when I saw different proportions, different languages, and I really wanted to explore more in that area. My enthusiasm comes from generating ideas and creating new inspirational ideas which we've never seen before. To explore in this different kind of dynamics is one of the reasons that keeps me very motivated and very interested. I was responsible for the managing of the interior for the area, all the way from the initial brainstorming and the first volumes. One part which I really enjoy is having the, the vision from 2D is generating to 3D with all this kind of engineering constraints we normally get. I think that's one of the most exciting parts. I'm always thinking about how much more can we push levels here and boundaries here at NDE. Aria was a lot more special and unique compared to any other projects we've worked on. This is the first time we've ever worked on a project with a flat floor, which kind of created this new dynamics of architecture and seamless design, incorporating this Japanese craftsmanship, this timeless Japanese futurism. To see this come from concept to reality is one of the biggest aspirations for myself and all of us at Nissan Design Europe. Colour is something that expresses emotion. If without colour, if we lived in a black and white world, I think it would be a very sad place. It brings something to life. I've been at NDE now for 26 years. I came to the London studio when it opened. I think what attracts me to this job is that there are no typical days. Every day is really quite different. On a daily basis, I'm working with all of the teams within NDE, whether that's product planning or marketing or with our colleagues in Japan. It's a real global effort from a colour design point of view. Working on Nissan Aria, one of the biggest challenges was the choice of materials as we step into a new era. We have to be very mindful of how we interact technology with material. Japanese technology in particular was really part of the design language of Aria. I think colour in automotive design is a way of giving the brand some identity. It's a tool to express what Nissan is. But now every customer is noticing the colour and materials that are used. The strong role colour does play. That's grown enormously since I've been part of this industry. Aria for us is obviously a, a halo model. It really symbolizes, I think, the best of Nissan. It's technically the most advanced car we've ever made. I am extremely proud, and one of the biggest elements is that we push boundaries where we never pushed before. 
knowing there was so much technology, it really drove the design of the car. So I felt the more technology that went in, the more we simplified the design, exterior and interior. The interior is much lighter. It kind of creates this new ambient atmosphere, but also at the same time, it's actually elevating customers' comfort and it kind of creates this new living space experience. You know, when we visit Japan and you go to Tokyo, you have this kind of cyber world with all the lights and illuminations. But when you enter someone's home, the serene and the simplicity and the pureness of how they're living was a great balance of how we kind of created this architectural layout and this new ambience of the interiors. We match these two worlds up, this fine craftsmanship mastery of your arts with this really advanced technology. Some of those first seeds were born in, in our studio here in London, um, but then we worked very closely, of course, with our, our colleagues in Japan, and they, they really brought that car to fruition. I feel that London is, is so international. You know, our team is 18 nationalities. That's a start, it gives us a very wide view on our projects. And then we mix that with our knowledge of Tokyo and Japan, I think it always creates something really, really unique.